My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Thumb. We're here in San Diego, Jake, for the winter meetings. Beautiful San Diego, Jim. I have been running around. I went to a friend's bachelor party in AC really quick. Ken was there. You'll figure out him later. But <laughs> glad to be at winter meetings. Uh, it's good times. Baseball, it's a weird version of baseball heaven. It's uh, it's the nerds. It's like Comic-Con, but for baseball fans. It's like I a nerd heard. convention. It's a great time. And we're going to start a whisper campaign and yes. start some rumors. Might get some guys some big money from just being in the elevator. Someone said, ooh, did you hear? He's getting more than that. And now with winter meetings going, Jim, we've we've already seen a lot of action. Judd, Judge resigned with the Yankees. Nine years, 328. By the time you're watching that, 328 is what I heard. Nine years, the ninth year, a flex option. Yeah. Only if he's still alive. Only if he's still flexing. Yeah. The A's traded Sean Murphy to... The Braves, who immediately flipped their catcher Contreras to the Cubs thinking that the jersey sales will not stop. And then what were some of the... Uh, Verlan- that's a joke that someone would write, what I just said. Right. Like, someone would write that and be like, that was a joke, oh but God, I just thought dude. of it on the fly. People should quote this in articles and be like, from John Boy Media. Yeah, from... from uh, you heard, This is from John Boy Media at Winter Meetings. Verlander signs with the Mets. We all... Everyone knows that. And this is the sports. Trey Turner... Uh, went to Seattle. That was crazy. He's in Philly. That was crazy. He's in Philly. Correa and Turner to Philly, and they have to fight for the starting short sub job, and the other one's getting traded before the season. Before the season. Which is against the CBA. It's like when you buy two different pairs of jeans, and you bring them both home, knowing one's going to get returned. So winter meetings are hot. Make yeah. sure you're following all our stuff. Jim, I talked about it before. This almost a breakdown. People might have missed it. Well, we're at winter meetings, you know, and we... Uh, didn't have it almost to break down, but I've been watching this video that's 10 years old of my friend Ken. Trying, <laughs> trying you tried to, to make yourself laugh the other day. Uh, billiard shot. I pull this up on my phone every now and then, and he's pretty shaky from the jump, and I'm filming him. He's had a couple. A couple of what? Actually, is up to you. I think it was a couple of, <laughs> not a couple, gulp, gulp, gulps. <laughs> Because he's all quiet and Ken's yeah. talkative when he normally he's, talks. It's a great video because you're watching it and you think maybe this is it's going to come together. He's going to drill and everyone's going to celebrate big time. He's really thinking about it. And then it. it's just like it's the worst pull shot you've ever it, seen. Our friend Ed talks to him at one point. Yeah, while he's shaking and he's like, oh. You're here? Oh, it's really damn. nice. At the end, he tries to play cool while knowing he didn't. Got a puzzle. Cool okay. Was a bad shot. So it's a breakdown of our friend Ken back in <laughs> 2011 missing, <laughs> missing, <laughs> missing a shot. Again, he was at the bachelor party. Let's go back to more sports. Jim, this was a big one for you. Golfer bites off a man's nose in argument over a game, flees in notorious electric car. I didn't understand that How line. about that? I don't think they follow up in the article that about the notorious like electric car That just feels like the wrong word in the wrong place, yeah. huh? Yeah. Don't cover him. You missed. Oh. You're way below it. Oh. Now, you like this because some man bit off another man's nose. At the parking lot at the casino. So not yeah. even by the golf course. Obviously, this was by a casino. <laughs> they can't find the nose. Like, Stop. They can't read the article. Stop. They can't find the nose. He bit it clean off. What I don't get is how do you get, how do you know, like if you're golfing and you know this guy's mad at you, how do you let him get close enough to bite your nose off? Or do you think he had to knock him out? Because you never think that's he had to knock. Happen, he had to knock dude. him out first. You think he just... Get off like a borderline dead guy. Watch nose? this. No, man. Do you think I can bite your nose right now, or do you think you'd have the ability to not let me get that close? I think knowing your intention, I could stop it. And then if I was a ripper or mad at you. They didn't think this would happen, because it's never happened. They got mad. Bit off your nose, dude. Let's go back to the sports. Jim, I mean, even though that was sports. <laughs> How about it? <laughs> let's go to the not sports, actually. Because yeah. this and was go a to big get, one get for row code Slash dumb. R-O dot C-O. Slash dumb. What's you saying? Trump? <laughs> Oh, nice. What did you say? Thieves break into Seattle restaurant and steal beloved stuffed cougar. Yes, I loved this story. You want to know why? Because there's money in the cougar, and they're trying their best to not, like, tell the cops that. They're saying that this stuffed cougar meant more to the restaurant than the food, the music, the cocktails. The owner said for her to be gone is unimaginable. The owner said that they're offering a thousand dollar reward, no questions asked. No cues. If you aid. return the cougar, and the how much do you think a stuffed cougar costs? BBD, can you check how much it would? Okay, can you go on eBay and see how much all the stuffed cougars are? The taxidermist cougars. You're looking at that more than a thousand bucks. Okay, but this is what he said to the thief. Right. You don't understand what you did, and if you do understand, then it's just so so wrong. All we want is to get that cougar back. So there's there's something in that cougar. Well, it looks like that's so mobby. It looks like it's in their like back room or something like that. So yeah. Yes. There's pick. Oh, and a an employee stole it. No. 
there's no way an employee is not the thief here. And the cops know that, too. I think you're all around it, and maybe we're saying the same thing differently. Inside job. Yeah. Don't touch that. I'm not going to that restaurant. They don't even have the Cougar anymore. I was there when they didn't have the Cougar. The place was off. What voice was that? It was Nikki Cass's grandpa. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> no, but there's something in that Cougar. If you know what's in that Cougar, reply below. Employee, employee of the week. Employee of the week. What happened last week? Ronnie? Ronnie's legit, huh? Has he won? Their store, Jogger's named after him, but he loves live switching. Yeah. It's like he saw the equipment in the warehouse and his he told he was like, oh, I'm like a kid on Christmas. But do you think he's gotten employee of the week too many times? I mean, if it's his second, it's too many. If it's first, it's deserved. Like, All right. I, Ronnie's Q score is really high. You say that a lot. It's true, dude. Didn't you get corrected? Like, Q score just means you people know him? No, it's... Um, I think Joe's got a higher Q score than Ronnie. I don't think so. More people know the name Joe's McFly than Ronnie. Right, but I don't think that's what Q score names. This means. is what Chris Rose told you, and you said, I thought it just meant if you let, get light. And then Peter Moylan whispered to me, he's like, no, nah, it's not true at all. Because oh. Peter Moylan's Q score in Atlanta, through the roof. Big Aussie guy, played with Freddie Freeman, also played with, like... Chipper Jones. Congrats, Peter and Ronnie. Chipper? Barely know her. What kind of name is that? Do an old school turn into camera. Three, two, one. That was the Weekly Dumb! This episode of Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Roman. Do you want a better sex life? If so, you're not alone. Jake also wants a better sex life. So what he does is he goes to ro.co slash dumb. And he gets 20% off his entire order. And you can do the same thing because Roman is here to help. They are the digital health clinic for men. They address a variety of sexual health needs and offer genuine medication that helps achieve and maintain a strong erection. If that's what you're into. Also, they can help with low T. They can help you last longer. If medication or testing is appropriate, Roman will send it directly right to your door. Everything arrives in a discreet package with free two-day shipping. They've got everything you need. So go to ro.co slash dumb now and get 20% off your entire first order. It's like every little kid. Like, like they were probably just like fighting. Got and your nose. Just like, his nose you're Do you think the guy like did that? It might be easy though. Maybe the, the maybe the first thing? guy was taking the argument as a joke, and he did the little kid. I got your nose, and then he was like, Shh. has been off the whole. Do you time. think he went like this? Do you think I think he did like a prank and then got to bite his nose? No, like, no man. I, know, I like, think this he was did the prank, intense. and the guy was like, "You don't have my nose, but I'll get yours." You think this is rooted? Do you think he had a big nose? Or do, you, do you think it's easier to bite off a big nose or a smaller nose? Little nose. You gotta get even closer to the face. You gotta get close either way. Real close. This whole time. Like a nose in your why are it feels you hovering? Like I should be in a cast. You just hovering? Hovering. Why have you been hovering? I'm just hovering right now. Okay.